What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a good day. Folks, we're going to look at a Gigapan, and it's from the Curiosity Rover from the Sol 3383. Now, when you see this, you see what looks like mountain ranges and everything else, and in this one area, not so much. I'm not sure if this is natural, or it's a structure, or what's left of one, or it's natural layering, and the stuff that's falling down onto it. I'm going to let you guys be the judge. Because it's just like the other photo where it looked like there's a bunch of junk falling in from all directions. This one's no different. You can bring a lot more detail out in this, and it's absolutely crazy. The only problem with this is, as large as this photo is, it's still kind of grainy. So I'm not going to zoom in super close. So make sure you get your magnifiers ready, and we can check this out a little closer. Folks, without further ado, let's just jump right into it. All right, you can see the Gigapen right here. It is MSL 3383, MSL being the Mars Science Laboratory. And you can see credit goes to NASA, JPL, Caltech, MSSS, as well as NevT, Neville Thompson. Thank you, Neville Thompson, for doing this. That's awesome. Now, if you go to the top of this page, and of course you'll get the link to the page, you can get any size you like. I went with, and you can see how it's black, it's highlighted right here, the 6000, the Extra Large 6K, because it is a 6,144 by 1,179. And that's pretty much the largest one you can get, right? Okay, so you can see the pan, it's a pretty good pan. I mean, it's not bad when you look at it like this, which incidentally, if you look at it, you can see right here. See, it looks like water coming down. Hmm, imagine that. What I'm interested in is right here. This area right here on the mountain. In fact, I'm gonna to go to the downloaded one I have so we can see that a little bit better. Okay, right here. Have a look at that, folks. Take out your magnifier, pause it right here. There's so much more in here, though, folks. You can see what looks like these, looks like slabs of rock right here. There's a darker one here. There's a lighter one here, but look at the skinny, narrower piece right there. You can see what looks like these nice straight edge. Now, we've seen this in a lot of mountainous areas. You have layers of rock, and you have what looks like these little supports in the middle. So that's what makes me think, okay, completely natural. But what's all in the front of this and all on the top of this may change your mind. Because if you notice, there is some blurring on the top of this area right here. And you're going to see a lot more, again, as well down here. Now, if you look at these straight pieces coming down, that's somewhat straight. Coming down is one, two. But right here, there seems to be like these long rectangular things coming off. It's just above this point on this cursor. Right there, it looks like pieces coming out right there. Let's just jump right into Photoshop. We can zoom in a whole lot better. All right, here it is right here. We're going to go right into that area. Okay, here's the problem with it. Now, this is the original right here. Look how it gets a little bit more grainy. It's just not as clear as I'd like it to be, right? Back up just a hair bit. You can see right here how this thing goes along. This looks like a piece here. One coming down here. Don't see anything right here. Something's coming out doing this. It looks like it has a circle. 90 degree corner. I'm wondering if this is one complete piece or something else, right? You can see this. Kind of goes down like this, actually. You can see what looks like this arch type thing. But here's the parts I was telling you about right here. You can see this. This is actually separate from the rest of these. Notice the rectangular piece on top of this. I don't know if you guys can see that. And you have these pieces here. Completely blurred out right here something whiter right here, okay? Now, let's take the color out of it. Pause it right here, have a look. And again, it is really grainy, so I do actually put a little blur into this. We're gonna jump right into the full color enhancement, and then we'll go into the black or white. Right now, we're just gonna check this out right here. You've got this inside here, it looks like this whiter, lighter piece. We have these weird pieces like circles inside here. We have something, you'll, you'll see it going like this. It's literally going across like this. And again, we have this area right here. Check out the pieces, especially in this lower, lighter piece right there. It appears to have these little uh, designs, holes or something of that sort, right? 
We have something way down here, and we'll just bring it down real quick. Not sure what to make of this thing. Check this out. Notice the lines in here, the weird pieces. Got something down here. Not sure what to make of that. It looks like pieces coming down like this. It almost looks like something encrusted, like a piece of machinery. Now, is it? It may not be. I'll let you guys again be the judge. Now, let me back out of this area here. And we're going to go into full enhancement, right? Now, watch how much more comes into play here. Okay, tons more. Tons more. We can actually go like this if you want to. Go like this, and you can see how we progress just by burning here and there the pieces that started to come out. You can see this a little bit at a time start to pop out. You can see how it's lighter right here. Okay, then we have these other pieces here. I wanted to brighten up so we can see a little bit better. But notice all the junk laying there. You got pieces that look like bent pieces and rounded pieces and contoured pieces and everything of that sort, right? You got up here, you got this piece doing this. Again, we have these like what looks like little supports, pieces coming down. We got this piece now. Looks like it goes up in a Y shape and comes down like this. And you can see that right here, folks. Check this out. Right here. Just barely be able to see that. But you can see it right here at the very end of it. Once you burn this blur away, this is what you get. Okay? This object right here, I just told you about. Check that out. Let's keep going. Let's just jump ahead here. Stop it anywhere, folks. Have a look at these little pieces all over the top of this. And don't forget to look up here. Here's the full enhancement right here. It almost looks like we got an M right here. See this? That's what it is, folks. It's a Martian McDonald's. See? And you guys thought they weren't civilized. No, I'm kidding. But nonetheless, it looks like a letter M. Now, what that is, God only knows. Go back to the original, and we'll just take the orangey color off. But you can see it right there. It. I'm going to go back and forth, and you can see that. It is right there. And I brought the rest of it out. Three quarters of it was like a lighter color, so I just bring it all the way out, right? Here's the full enhancement. Folks, just pause it right here. Now, in my humble opinion, this looks like a structure that has been caved in or obliterated. Now, is it possible this is natural layering of rock. Absolutely, of course it could be. Now, this is what makes me think that this area here is false, meaning it's a false sky, and there's much more on top of this, and all this junk is falling down to the bottom of it. Don't get me wrong, it's only speculation, but that's what I believe is going on right there. Okay, this area over here, I was telling you earlier about this thing, it looked like something mechanical. It's almost like something got, you know, pulverized, and then it encrusted right there. See that? Just some of the weird pieces and parts of that thing. I mean, it looks a little too much unnatural, if you will. Um, not sure what to make of that. Even on this rock here, folks, look at this. Just the weird shapes. Look at that. Okay. All right. Let's go back to this area here. We're going to black and white it. I'm going to back it out just a hair bit. Because, again, it is grainy. This is black and white, so we don't have anything full in the eyes, although sometimes I prefer the color. But check that out. I'm going to do it right here. Folks, pause it right here. Have a good look. When I look at this, I don't see natural. I see something that is built in the side of this mountain, or all of this is debris, and all you're seeing is maybe the very fascia of a building, the very front, and all of this debris was part of something much larger, has fallen down onto it. Or, like I said, it could be that this area right here is completely natural and that all of this junk had fallen down onto the side of this hill. I don't know. Give you back a little bit of the color. We can keep going back. Check it out. Like I said, just this area alone. Look at the different shapes and designs of some of these parts. There's no way this could be just natural up here on the top. Different pieces. 
Look at all this junk laying down here. This right here, what is going on there? Looks like you got like a three piece thing. We have a circle right here with a hole. You guys see that? Check that out right here. Got a bent piece or U shaped piece right there. Are we sure this is all natural folks? I'm gonna do one more view of this. Pause right there folks. Black and white right there. Again, color, pause it right here. Have yourself a good look at this with your magnifiers or eyepiece, whatever you got. And black and white. And there you go. Folks, when I first saw this, I said, mm, that's a possibility that's all natural. Because look at the straight edge. We got the pieces coming down. We've seen this a lot in nature. I mean, you can see this in sides of mountains. You've got all kinds of this layering. And then you have all this junk laying on top. It looks like it come down from the very top down to this. So two things is happening. Either that's all natural right there and all this junk had fallen down on it. There's way too much debris to think this is all natural. There's no way, at least in my opinion, you guys may have a different opinion. So it's either natural or unnatural. And then all that junk has fallen down on top of it. I believe in my personal opinion, this was what's left of a structure. Maybe it's a smaller structure in front of a much larger structure that caved in on top of that one. I don't know. Pure speculation here, folks. But as usual, drop your comments down below. Let me know what you think. I want to hear what you've got to say. Please like and share the video. It is always appreciated. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up so that YouTube shares it. Folks, got more crazy ones coming up, so stay tuned for that. As always, thanks for watching. Always appreciated. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.